Hi guys, this is Chantal and I have a wonderful thrift haul to share with you. So first I want to start with this plant. This is obviously not from the thrift store. I actually got this from the grocery store because I went grocery shopping after I went to the thrift store. So let me bring you a little bit closer so that you can see it. This is a Calathea and it has this beautiful red inside of its leaves and it has a beautiful green margin on the outer side of the leaves and I saw a whole bunch of plants and I could not resist. They only had this one plant of this type of Calathea. They always have a beautiful plant selection at our grocery store and it's always so hard to resist to not buy a plant. And I always pass by them and I have to look at the plants and this time I just could not resist. The smell from the bouquets, the flower bouquets that were there was just amazing. So it drew me in into the... <laughs> the aisle where the plants are <laughs> and usually they are uh, at the entrance of the door as soon as you enter you just this uh, beautiful sp smell from the flowers comes in wafting through the doors and um, it draws me in it's just, it does that to me all the time <laughs> and I can't resist it uh, but um, I mean I do resist it I, I have to be. otherwise I think we would go broke just with me buying plants but I do struggle I am not the best at taking care of house plants yes this fiddle leaf fig is doing I think great uh, behind me but uh, I honestly am not that good at taking care of house plants uh, and I think there are many factors I mean uh, it's just our house doesn't have a lot of light so it's really tricky to grow plants in our house unless I provide them with some sort of a light and I don't have any lights specifically for plants in the house up here. Uh, I only have my grow lights uh, down in the grow room and those are the only lights that I have and there are just LED lights. But over here I don't have anything for my plants so they just have to survive of whatever light that uh, the windows are providing them with. And this fiddle leaf fig over here that's behind me is surviving off of the lights from this window. It gets uh, a pretty good amount of bright indirect sunlight in the uh, in the morning all the way to kind of early afternoon uh, at around 2 I would say it starts kind of getting some uh, direct uh, sunlight so I just shut the uh, shades I close the shades because I don't want it to get a lot of uh, direct sunlight and then end up burning uh, so uh, the leaves need to be actually washed the reason why I went to the thrift store in this in the first place is because I wanted to get some stuff for the garden like I wanted to get a bowl for the bird bath that I'm using in the apiary garden. I also wanted to get some uh, kind of fairy like uh, garden elements uh, for the kids garden outside like a I wanted a Beatrix Potter theme and I wasn't able to find anything like that unfortunately. I was um, I was a little bit sad about that, but I was able to find a whole lot of other stuff, some for the garden and some for the house, so let me show you. One more thing about this Calathea is uh, I looked up uh, some of the plants that uh, could survive in poor light or not a lot of indoor light, so uh, Calathea is one of those plants and that's the reason why I got it. Now I have a lot of research to do on how to take care of it because I have no idea how to do that. I've never had a Calathea before. They had some spotted ones and really cool stuff and they had begonias but I was afraid of getting begonias even though the flowers were absolutely beautiful because um, I don't know if I have enough light for begonias. So I think we'll try this and see how it does uh, and then uh, if I pass the test I might get a begonia in the future. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> the first thing I want to start with is this rocking horse. I was so happy. This is the first thing I found when uh, I got to the thrift store. I had my toddler with me and she saw it. She fell in love with it. I fell in love with it. And can you believe this thing is only six dollars? Yeah. So this is one of those things that I've always wanted to get for my kids but I never really um, thought about getting them because usually they're pretty expensive and I don't like to spend a whole lot of money on stuff like that. Uh, I'd rather, you know, spend it on something that uh, they would use for a long time and they would enjoy for a long time. And this is 
you know, she could use this for maybe a couple years or so. But I am so happy that I, we found this and she just loves it. She, she adores this thing. Um, and it's just a very uh, a romantic thing since I do love horses and she loves horses and all my kids love horses. <laughs> The next thing that I got is these lighthouses. <laughs> we have three kids so I decided that each of them would have three of these. Uh, since I couldn't find the Beatrix Potter theme for their garden, I decided to get uh, for them these beautiful lighthouses and I thought that they would enjoy them and they could decorate their rooms with them, they could play with them. They are fragile, they would break, uh, but uh, they are just so beautiful and charming and I thought that they would look beautiful in their rooms. So let me bring you a little bit closer so that you can admire these beautiful lighthouses. And I love lighthouses, uh, I don't know why. I've always loved lighthouses. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, so I was drawn to them. They, they only had three more lighthouses and I did not like those as much and each of these were two dollars this one over here actually opens up which is pretty cool actually I break the seamers like from making an echo so there we go <laughs> my plan was to actually get some pots for outside uh, but I wasn't able to get any pots for outside I didn't find anything or anything that could turn into a pot uh, so I instead found these beautiful uh, vases I guess uh, I think so and this one could be uh, used as a vase and as or vase or, or, and as also a pot um, if I want to I could drill a hole in the bottom but I don't want to do that instead what I want to do is to use it to put little pots inside it uh, like if I have a plant uh, that could fit inside of this that's already in a pot I would just slide the pot in here and um, this plant the plant would look nice this way and I don't have to worry about an ugly plastic container uh, so I think uh, this was a good find for two dollars pretty good I think and it has this beautiful detailing on it uh, on the top I think it's a nice color I like I like sage I got interrupted like a million times and a half so I don't know what I was saying but I think I was saying that this vase over here would make a beautiful vase for a flower bouquet. It has beautiful detailing on it. I believe it is handmade. It doesn't have, I don't, looks like it has some Chinese writing on it on the bottom, but I don't know any Chinese, so I don't know what it says. <laughs> and this one over here I thought would be nice for a Christmas decoration to use, like to create a kind of a Christmas arrangement in here or just to put some kind of uh, grass in there like some dried grass I think would look really nice as well I wanted to have a, a few years ago I was looking for um, about the same size vase but more on the narrower side and taller because I wanted to put grass in it and have it here in the corner but I think uh, my idea of putting stuff there is not a wise idea because uh, the kids could just easily knock them over and um, these beautiful vases would break. Uh, but I think these are a great find. Alright, hold on sweetie. This one has no writing on it whatsoever. Um, I don't know. 
It looks handmade though. So this is really cool. Next thing I got was this. Uh, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I thought it was something completely different. I only realized what it was when I was checking out because the cashier said, and this wine rack. So this is a wine rack and I had no idea because uh, I don't drink so. <laughs> uh, but now it makes sense, now I'm looking at it. But the reason why I got this is because I wanted to use it for drying herbs and I thought, when I saw it, that was the that was the thought that was going through my mind um, that tells you how much you know how much wine and stuff I drink none <laughs> um, I don't know where I was at so yeah I was thinking of using these little these things over here to hang the um, to, ha to hang herbs and flowers from them to dry them and I think I could still use it that way or even hang it this way and then uh, hang the herbs and flowers from it this way. Whichever way I decide to use it, I think it will work. So yeah, uh, wine uh, rack turned into uh, herb and uh, flower drying thingamajig. I think I did see actually uh, some trays that were meant for drying herbs because they were kind of this uh, almost like a wicker material. Uh, they were very flimsy though. I didn't want to get them because I wasn't sure where to store them and I didn't. I was afraid that they might break in storage if they weren't stored, stored properly. Uh, so instead I got this thing and I figured when the other ones are uh, have stuff in them to dry, they are going to take some valuable space in the house unless I have some sort of a rack to put them on. Uh, so I think this works better for that purpose. And you know, when I'm not using it, I could just store it away like this. And I think it's beautiful. I like the wood. It's, you know, very well built and if I want to, I can touch it up again and make it look even nicer. <laughs> I also got these baskets over here and this I thought would be perfect for cut flowers if uh, I want to make a cut flower bouquet especially if I have some gladiolas growing because they have really long bloom stalks uh, I could just kind of drape them in here and it, this would make a, a beautiful basket for a picture uh, especially with flowers inside it even if I want to put vegetables in here I mean it's still a beautiful basket no matter what I put in it and I always love to um, grab beautiful baskets and uh, also at the same time baskets that I can use for uh, storage or for harvesting when it's harvest season like this basket over here I think would make a great harvest basket for um, anything honestly anything small like peas or berries or even eggs but I don't want to put eggs in it because um, you know chickens are dirty and I don't want to dirty this basket I love it <laughs> okay I um, I love baskets I could keep collecting baskets I also found some nice Christmas decor so I thought I would get them. I don't like to buy this stuff at the store because it's just super expensive and I would rather spend that money uh, for something else on my kids or you know clothes that they need or whatever it is or uh, just I don't know. There are more important stuff that I prioritize over this type of decor but I would be very happy to get it from a thrift store because it's a lot cheaper in a thrift store by a whole lot. <laughs> uh, this one over here was three dollars this one also uh, and this I saw this on uh, Walmart I think uh, in Walmart uh, it was like I don't know thirty six dollars or something like this and it's beautiful I was thinking of getting one and I didn't get it because of that um, because it I just didn't think it's worth spending money on it. Um, so I'm thankful for the person who put it in the thrift store, thank you. And the same thing with this. <laughs> so I'm actually planning on collecting some 
houses uh, because I think it would look very nice and this one doesn't have a light in it uh, but I will add lights to them I can put lights inside of them this has oh I'm sorry I'm showing you the back side of this one this has a nativity scene on the inside if I can bring you a little bit closer uh, I'll just zoom in over here <laughs> and um, yeah I love this it, I've always wanted to have a nativity scene but the nativity pieces are just so expensive uh, so I again choose not to have them <laughs> but since I found this and it had a nativity scene and it was a kind of a snow globe kind of thing and I, you can put batteries at the bottom and uh, I'm not sure what happens when you put the batteries but uh, it would be nice to know uh, so I thought you know it's perfect I was thinking anyways of buying Christmas stuff now because it would be on sale uh, or you know find them at the thrift store and that's what happened <laughs> and I'm glad I did so uh, this is these I think are beautiful finds now I got some home decor uh, it's just random stuff that uh, I thought they're beautiful and I have I mean I can't have my style in the house just because it's I feel like it's not family friendly <laughs> I like very like classic uh, I don't know what it's called I don't know maybe Victorian or whatever style or I don't know what is it called but uh, that doesn't work with a family but this piece kind of reminded me of that and I thought hey I could fit this on the wall and it would still fit with the, with the style of the house um, I don't know if you guys can see it does it make any sense it's beautiful it's actually a candle holder so um, it's granted it's not super safe but if I put like one of those small little candles inside of it uh -oh, look. it would still work I think yeah. it would be safe and uh, I gotta find a place to hang this I have a lot of places that I could hang this but I just need to settle on one <laughs> uh, I also got these beautiful plates uh, these were uh, it says it's an original creation of a nostalgic beauty blends rose and bridal wreath and happy harmony for the perfect table settings setting beautiful I wish I actually was able to find more of these they were super beautiful I saw another plate set uh, plate set that I thought was beautiful but I did not like the bottom of the plate set uh, uh, it was like black with it had the I like the top it had these uh, kind of black or grayish uh, rose type uh, it's like a wreath almost around it but uh, the bottom was black with a white so I did not like that that's not my style but I love these I don't know if you guys can see them because of the glare there we go I think these are just very beautiful Super beautiful. I'm roses and flowers, uh, anything with those things I love. <laughs> I also got a few paintings. They actually had a whole lot of paintings over there. Not a lot of like handmade stuff, uh, but I think they had some printed stuff. I was looking at them, I thought they were beautiful, but I'm more interested in the hand painted stuff. Uh, so this one looked like it, like it is. I mean, it is probably a print of a hand painting or the watercolor but it looks it looks very similar to a painting that I have seen before uh, let me show you I don't know if you guys can see it. it looks like somewhere in Paris not that I've ever been to Paris but somewhere in Paris <laughs> I don't know where uh, they had some some paintings I mean some of these paintings that were printed uh, had very beautiful frames around them I was more interested in the frames and the paintings but I don't have any paintings that I could fit in those frames or oh I should have should have gotten those just for the frames because I had a project in mind that I wanted to do for you guys and I should have gotten them just for the frames oh 
hopefully no one gets them and maybe next time I go whenever that happens because I only go like I don't know oh. once every year or once every two years to the thrift store which I would like to go more but uh, life doesn't allow it anyways I also got these beautiful I don't know what they are I mean I think they're prints you know not paintings nothing fancy but I thought they are beautiful and I think they are they would look very beautiful either in the kitchen or in the dining room I could swap the painting that I have over here behind the fiddle leaf fig um, I have two sort of matching paintings in here also um, and I could swap those with these and I could just change them according to the season I suppose so I thought these, these were very beautiful there's one this one is oh this this one this one okay this one has grapes and this one has figs <laughs> and uh, they're very beautiful uh, also you know the spiritual meaning and the edible meaning and the <laughs> since uh, figs was Jesus favorite fruit and Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches. <laughs> so I didn't actually get them for this reason, but now that I saw them, this thought came to mind. <laughs> and two more things, two last things, but I'm not done here. <laughs> Stay because there's more to this video. I'm actually. I'm actually going to take a cutting from my fiddle leaf fig. I've never done this before. I've watched, I don't know, like a hundred videos on this thing. I'm so nervous uh, because I hope that I don't do this wrong. Uh, so I'll take you along with me. I'm just going to do it right after I show you these couple things. And uh, I'm going to use one of the vases that I got to put the cuttings in it. And hopefully it's going to survive and not die on me uh, because I really want to make another tree. And I want this one to branch out because it's just grown straight. <laughs> uh, I've had it for, I think this is, it's on its third year right now. Alright, so I got this uh, uh, Dr. Seuss How the Grinch Stole Christmas because my kids love this movie. And, uh, you know, who doesn't love the Grinch? And they had it there, so I got it. <laughs> And, oh, and I did promise them that after they finish their schoolwork, they can watch it. So they're waiting. Go finish your schoolwork. <laughs> you, you still have spelling. All right. I also found this beautiful, beautiful jewelry box. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, I can't believe that this thing is in the thrift store. Like, I'm in shock. There's, it's very functional. You know, I've never had a jewelry box before and I was thinking actually of getting one um, or fantasizing about getting one because they're so expensive <laughs> and then this one just appeared for me in the store and I'm super happy uh, that I found it. I just love it. Very beautiful. Uh, it just needs a little bit of touch up over here but I could still use it even if I don't do anything to it. I could just like, you know, put some uh, oil on it and uh, clean it up and use it. I did not show you this side over here. It actually has these little hooks that you can hang the necklaces on. And this side also, same. It's so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> what? So this was my thrift store haul, and right now let's go ahead and perform the surgery on our fiddle leaf fig over here, and uh, try to take try to take a cutting from it. Will it survive? Da -da -da -da. We don't know. 